Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today we're going to talk about artificial intelligence, machine learning essentially, on the impact it has on banks and hedge funds. So here we are, uh, put up an article on the quantlabs.net slash blog uh, titled Marcos Lopez de Prado. I hope I got that right. Hints artificial intelligence supersede well-paying Wall Street jobs. So if you are interested in these topics, come on over to the quantlabs.net slash book, fill out some details, get some free hints on tech to get you started in the world of algo trading. So continuing along, there's this article I posted and I didn't pay a lot of attention to it, but it seems that other people are. It's found at this article here from a guy named Jack Kelly on Forbes uh, called Artificial Intelligence is Superseding Well-Paying Street Jobs. Now, the House of Financial Committee Task Force Intel on Intelligence, blah, 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 typical government, friendly, whatever names, conducted a meeting on impact machine learning, on robo-advisory, market surveillance, other activities in the financial services, $200,000, 200,000 jobs are gone, wah, 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 and um, machine learning at typical, our friend, uh, well, she's like a friend. He doesn't really know me, but uh, I've emailed him back and forth a few times. Very friendly guy. Um, Dark Marcos Lopez de Prado. He's, he's been getting some buzz over the last couple of months. So he did his uh, presentation on algorithmic and electronic markets and da-da-da. So this is what he said. Look around. You only hear a slight hum and see the flickering lights of the Bloomberg Boo Bloomberg ter terminals and computer screens. Only a short while ago, you've heard the vibrant, rambunctious and atmosphere, blah, blah, blah. Open outcry, camera shoot where there's some light, blah, 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 blah. So he says, who's now a Cornell University professor, was in Washington on the impact of AI on capital markets. Here's what he said. Displacing thousands of people. We knew that. Wah, Crimea River. Uh, financial machine learning creates a number of challenges for the 6.14 million people employed in the financial and insurance industry, many of whom lose their jobs. Not necessarily because they are replaced by machines, but they are not trained to work alongside algorithms. We've been saying that for quite a few years. Ah, too bad. Now, seek people who have math, technology, software coding, and data analytics experience related to the electronic train, I'll go into that article here in a minute. Used to be fantastic, Crimea River. Doors to the up have closed now to the ascension of algo-driven uh, trading. Working class traders are no longer welcome. Hey, these guys are no longer welcome. Just update the skills. Fact Jack remains wide open for Ivy League PhDs who write the code. Compliance run risk of being replaced too. I think it's already underway, has been underway. Bad actors become more sophisticated. Financial regulation, da 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 da. All right, tech driven trading platform. 40 different algos using 35,000 different parameters. That's crazy. To spot potential abuse and manipulation in real time. That's a regulation thing. Uh, massive many cases, significant challenge for uh, surveillance professors. Market abuse, proverbial haystack, da 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 da. Human is unable to keep up with the rapid fire of sophisticated global trading demand uh, dominated by algos. When say to worry, the precise time to worry. Introduce McDonald's, introducing self serving and firing hourly workers to cut costs. Or top-tiered bankers rely on software instead of traders to make million-dollar bets on the markets. Will continue to impact technology and downsize people in an effort to enhance profits and cut down expenses. This trend will be hard to stop and have future consequences for the workers at all levels. Okay, let's check out this article. This is Markets Insider. Actually, sorry, businessinsider.com article. Uh, this one came out in August. I think I've... Uh, not this particular article. I did talk about this in August when it came out. Goldman Sachs plans to recruit more than 100 recruiter quoters to its trading division as part of the bank's largest hiring spree, spree in years. Yesterday I reported um, the data modeling open source by Goldman 
in a weird language. I think that's just their way of being so-called friendly and community driven and blah, blah, blah for positive PR. But the real deal is, is what, um, here it is, the new jobs, hiring spree in years, looking for coders and a lot of them. A hundred engineers, that was reported by our friends or ex-friends at Bloomberg. Um, you're going to see us very actively in the market going after this kind of talent. Historically, engineers were not seen as part of the business. Equities trader, blah, blah, blah. New platforms have automated plenty of mundane tasks, divert money towards improving technology. Largest trading operation on Wall Street, hire more engineers. Trading floor is a telling sign in which direction the industry is going. There you go. Computer coders are taking over. Software eats all. We've talked about that many years. Hiring effort was improved, blah, blah, blah. Uh, leadership was excited, interested, and the firm is putting money where its mouth is. Uh, trading risk program management. Uh, Goldman hopes to elevate its trading vision. Goldman Sachs generated more two million billion dollars last quarter. Fell behind Morgan Stanley. are doing the same thing. Okay, so enough of the blah 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 stuff. Reading. Where does this leave you? Uh, it's very critical now. Either if you're an old school trader. Uh, going into retirement or anything to do with trading, algo trading is really the future. And it has been, we got two articles yet again, um, yet uh, showcasing that. And um, if you don't do it, you're gonna get left behind. Uh, if you come over to quantlabs.net slash book again, get your stuff, learn what I'm doing. I'm now using Motive Wave. We've got it running. We're making some fantastic calls. Um, and uh, this, this works. Not a lot of programming is needed, but it does definitely help, especially if you go into the world of Python, which I'll be doing a video today on bridging my motive wave with the cryptocurrency trading capability now. So I'll include that later today. So again, um, if you're a fundamental dude, a fuddy-duddy or whatever, an old school trader, you are being displaced you're going by the way of the dodo and again we see that the scary thing though is even if all this coding and whatnot for machine learning those particular jobs are very hard to get into i just did a check uh, a few weeks ago all around the world uh, singapore hong kong new york tokyo and london uh the only ones that still have in chicago as well the only ones that are well paying is is uh is London, and that is because they are uh, going through Brexit. They're getting rid of all the immigrants, making it tougher for immigrants to come in to London, into the UK. So there's a supply problem, and that's why those jobs are high paying. But um, outside of that, a lot of these particular jobs are not, I mean, they used to be half a million, a million plus five, 10 years ago. <coughs> Some rare opportunities still exist for them, but you gotta be top dog. Um, and coming out of a very good school with a uh, PhD level of education, which a lot of us don't even have, especially as old folks. So at the end of the day, it will be super competitive to get into these jobs. Um, the, and, the, and the pay, even if you look at Ren Renaissance Technologies, they don't pay as well as they used to. Maybe 150, 200, 300. But get a job at Google and Facebook. It might be easier to get in there. Um, so... All these guys will eventually be replaced as well because there's another trend that we talked about where um, companies are now going to kaggle for contest to, to use the winners to get the research out of the winners that do the contest. So they're going to get, I mean, the whole is a huge tsunami of changes. Um, but I do think that the only solution, again, if you want to get into it and, and reap the benefits of it, put the work in. And join the movement here at quantlabs.net slash book. Get in on it. Uh, we, we are uh, growing uh, pretty quickly, actually, um, on the email front and uh, participation on the Facebook group as well. So that is the way, and um, I would strongly recommend you to follow suit. Over and out. Talk to you later. Have a good day.